welcome and welcome back to my channel epic beauty by self your beauty empress so if you're new to the channel guys remember to click that subscribe button don't forget to subscribe and become a part of the epic beauty family if you're already a part of the family thank you for joining the family and helping the channel to grow I really appreciate it I'm currently at 44 subscribers and if it wasn't for you it wouldn't be possible so thank you so much for clicking on that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching so today's video as you can see in the title below is my moisturizing method so yes today was a wash day so my hair is cleaned and washed and as you can see there is no chemical inside on it right now there is no moisturizer there is no curling cream there is nothing so um i think one of the family member one of our sub my subscribers said that my hair was not 4c so i'm basically showing, showing you that my hair is actually 4c it's a type 4 hair and it basically if nothing is in my hair it's really really hard to manage so i try to keep it moisturized otherwise it's unmanageable and right now it's completely tangled because i just washed it and i have to moisturize it so i'm just going to show you the moisturizing method which is the lco a lot of persons use the loc which is the liquid oil or the liquid or leave-in whichever and then the oil and then the cream but for my type of hair which is 4c and it is non-porous meaning the it takes long to become moisturized i have to use the liquid cream and oil method so the oil is the last thing i use to seal my seal in the moisture so after i add in the leave-in conditioner and when you're choosing a leave-in conditioner the first ingredient needs to be water otherwise it's not much of a moisturizing moisturizing product so for me i use the leave-in conditioner it's contour and it's a shea butter it's not the argan the argan one does not give it my ear at all so even if you have 4c type here you have to find the product that please with your hair it has to work for your hair all right so i can't put this in first because i have to wet it first i'm just gonna wet it with water this is only water during the week because now is the weekend so during the week and i upload a video every saturday so if you want to see a new video from me just join me every saturday and also turn on that post notification bell once you subscribe just click on the bell and you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video okay so i'm just getting everything completely wet here it's more easy to manage once it's wet and i'm um, hold on i need to put this yeah, put this over me it's wetting me up all right so let's part the air intersection somehow i had some grab clip but i can't find them i'm not sure where they end up So I'm separating it into four sections and I'm just going to wet each section. So you see it's dripping wet. Cause right now mm -mm, the comb cannot go through it and I can show you. See? It won't go through. So right now that it's wet. I am 
just going to add the leave-in conditioner because it won't stay for long because as I said before it's non-porous it doesn't absorb the water so in no time everything just strips out and it becomes dry so working on this side I have to work on it in sections let me show you the back this is how the back looks that's how the back looks so the back is yeah it's crusty when there's nothing no product in there but I've learned how to manage it so we're putting our leave-in And this is why I apply to each section. So I'm just going to show you the first two sections and then I complete the back. Because otherwise this video is going to be extremely long. So I'm just using my fingers to separate, separate the hair before I use the comb. Because as you can see the comb cannot go through. So I can't even use a comb to part it into sections. I have to use my fingers. So when you're combing it out, you have to start from the ends. Otherwise, you get a lot of hair falling out due to the tangle. So I'm just combing through to ensure that the leave-in conditioner gets on every strand. So each strand needs to be moisturized okay so now that we have see it's a bit more easier to go through can try that with this side won't work okay so that's why I said that I can't touch my hair unless I put the leave-in conditioner in it for me to, for me to detangle. Alright, so after the leave-in conditioner, so you see it's getting, and as you can see, if you have seen my previous videos and you see how I catch up my hair, you would, you would have realized that the bun, um, when I'm doing it in one, it makes it look like my hair is long. After, that happens after I comb it out and it stretches as you can see it is shrunk that's shrunk right now and there are basically no curls no curls it doesn't have any curl activator so there is no curls alright so this side is combed out now so what I'm going to add right now is the cream so this is the cream yes it stays for kids but as I said you have to find something that works with your hair works for your hair and this works for my hair it's a curling cream so this also helps to aid it actually aids the curl that forms in my hair so after every wash I do the LCO method and this is a curling cream and it aids it helps with the curls so the curls are formed back after i wash my hair all right so time to put in the cream and for this it also has water as as one of the first ingredients if you won't be able to see it as clear but it does have, have water as one of the first things the first ingredient to be exact so let's rub in that cream and I like to do it like this because the heat from my hands helps to let the product penetrate my hair so after I do this, then I put on a steam cap when I completely finish everything. And then I leave that until I'm ready to style my hair. Leave it on it. 
everything I'm ready to style. Alright, so now that we have put the cream in, I'm just gonna use my fingers to get out any tangle. And I'm just gonna run the comb through again. So, as you can see, some curls are already forming, which is totally different from this side. So, I'm gonna add the oil, and this is the oil that I use. I purchased this on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link in the description below for you to access it if you need it but for these the contour products they are easily accessible at your regular your regular beauty store you'll get them so it's the color of the liquid is yellow golden yellow you won't be able to see it but it's golden yellow so, I'm just going to rub it on the ends, especially. My ends, they dry out the fastest. So, this LCO method allows me to seal in the moisture from the leave-in conditioner and the curling cream. So, right now I'm sealing. Me. I don't like a lot of oil in my hair, so I'm just adding just enough to see it. Alright, so, okay, so I'm finished with that section. Alright, so I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna twist this section. And I'm going to do the other sections and get back to you. So this is how I'm going to keep this section from getting tangled up with the others. So let me just go ahead and finish the rest and I'll get back to you. Same procedure as I did this first one, nothing different. Okay, so I'm on the last, last one at the back. So I'm just going to do this, use the same method, which is wet. If I was doing a wash and go, um, basically after coming out of the shower, I would basically just do the same method which is the LOC method the leave-in, putting my leave-in, my curling cream my oil the jojoba oil, if that's how it's pronounced it's jojoba it's either jojoba or jojoba or something like that but it's spelled J-O-J yeah, J-O-J-O-B-A <laughs> um, so I would normally do that if I'm doing a wash and go and then I would put in my curl activator and the curl activator would do the magic of curling up my hair the way I need and make, making my curls defined and then I would just add the the um the gel you can see my previous videos you would see which gel I use. It's the olive oil, the green, the eco style olive oil, the green jar one. For every, everyone's hair, you would have to figure out which one of those eco style works best for your hair because they have different style, different types for each ear type. So you would have to figure out which one works best for your hair. All right, so this is this is what you know. So I'm going to add the the contour leave-in conditioner. 
don't want to add too much to weigh the hair down so I'm just gonna add that pizza as a mount again and then we add it to the ends and then we work our way up to the roots right coming along nicely okay so after that then we add this again the curling cream okay sure the ends or nicely moisturized because you know if the ends start breaking then that's when your hair you start losing hair because you start you lose hair from your ends and we don't want that right so there you go there it is so it looks with product in it as you saw it before without the product mm -mm. you can use it to score a pot all right so now that we have added the leave-in conditioner and we have added our curling cream we will add the oil so i'm just gonna add the oil to the end work my way up to the roots let's add some more oil all right so let me just untangle these So I am gonna come out now. See how easy it is to come, to come out now. The comb just basically runs through. Oh my god. There are some sections in the middle that are not going through. Okay. Getting it good. So, that's basically how I detangle my hair. And then. I will do the usual method of just catching it in one and we're good to go. So let me get my clips and we work together in catching it in a ponytail. Right? Alright, so I've got my gel. So I'm just gonna catch my hair in one. Now that it's all detangled. So let's put the jelly in. So if it's a case that I'm it's overnight and I'm not going anywhere, I would just put a steam cap over it. Twist it as you saw me saw the twists before. That's why I would leave it and then I put the sink up over it and then I would leave that overnight. So now I'm 
basically cut it in one now that it's all detangled and let you see how the curls come alive with these with all these products that I've used because without these products it wouldn't happen so this brush Okay, so this is the quick by the way. Which you if you're not if you're new to the channel, if you're not new then you would have seen it in previous videos. My the oil makes my forehead shine okay so there you have it all the tangles at first wash and then to i could actually pick this out to make it bigger but this video is not about that it's about the detangle so as you can see because of the products that i use the curls come alive the waves come alive and without them that wouldn't be possible at all so the key in managing your hair is to actually find the products that work for your hair type there you have it if you have any comments, any thoughts, anything you want to ask, comment below, comment below, comment below. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Subscribing is free, completely free. Take nothing to subscribe, subscribe, nothing at all. All you have to do is just click that subscribe button and become a part of the family. And remember to turn on your post notification, guys. So whenever I upload a new video, you are notified. And also share the video with someone who's having hair issues who wants to know how to detangle their hair because uh, I've met a lot of persons who have asked me what I use in my hair and how I get my hair so smooth so if you know of that person let's share the video with that person and comment below as I mentioned before comment comment there are no question too much that I can't answer about this video so whatever you want to ask just comment below and uh, answer your question if you want suggestions on which product to try comment below and I'll give you my suggestion because I've tried a lot of product and so I'm able to give you advice on that I'll see you in my next video guys